and the Bogalusa Blues and Heritage Festival is now just hours away. Meteorologist Brooke Laser is there live with an early look at what the festival has to offer. Good morning. I am joined by the executive chair of the Bogalusa Blues and Heritage Festival, Michelle Good. She's going to tell us a little bit about what you can expect when you come out tonight to enjoy the live music, the food, talk about some of the sponsorships for us. I will. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So as of right now, things are starting to really heat up and um, things are starting to pop up. We've got our vendor tents going up. We have our stage crew on there and they're getting ready to start with the musicians. Our first act is gonna start this evening at four o'clock and we'll play all the way till nine o'clock tonight. Food vendors are going uh, up as we speak and if you take a deep breath, you can smell some of the food already starting to cook. Our merchandise booth is um, getting set up over here and they've got their t-shirts ready for this year. Our posters are gonna be ready. Hats, chairs, anything you could possibly need. I suggest bring a chair bring some sunscreen, bring a hat. If not, we you can buy one here and come on out and enjoy the live music. Yeah, so I was just talking with a couple of people and they told me about Tab Benoit headlining the first year. Samantha Fish has been here a couple of years. Who can you expect tonight and tomorrow? So tonight we're going to start off with a local guy. His name is Sam Forche. We'll have Claire Keller, um, DK Harrell, and then we're going to end the night with the Chitlins. Oh, perfect. And what about tomorrow? Tomorrow we're gonna have a 5K in the morning, so bring your running shoes first thing in the morning. After that, our backstage kicks off with the Ozone Music Festival singer-songwriters out of Covington, Mandeville area. They'll start about 11 o'clock. They'll end at three, and then 3.30 our stage up here kicks off. We start with, mm, I can't remember who we start with, but we're gonna end the night with John Johnny Sansom. Fabulous, and that is always a local favorite. It's absolutely gorgeous today. Couldn't ask for a better forecast. We're going to break down those details coming up in just a bit. Back to y'all. All right, looks like there's a lot to be excited about and some great weather too. Thanks, Brooke.